All right, if you got a weak stomach or a weak uh, uh, constitution, don't listen to this video. This is my it's okay to be human video, and we're going to get into some really gross, gross stuff. Uh, but uh, I think it's important for some people to listen to stuff like this to understand that, you know, we all have moments in our lives that are embarrassing or, uh, or just, uh, you know, we're down and out on our luck, uh, uh, we're depressed, uh, you know, I've been through the whole gambit. And, uh, well, we'll just go back to when I was working for a living and uh, I sat behind a computer 8, eight 10, sometimes 12 hours a day working for pretty good money uh, but uh, you know I just just I got to where I hated it you know it was hey let's see a couple more birds here there goes one and uh, so um, you know every now and then I just I would look out and I'd see people roofing houses and that's before cancer and I think man what a, what I would give to just work on a construction job for a while just to get away from sitting behind a computer all day long you know and uh, and they're not very understanding I I used to have supervisors making two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year that would walk the aisles to make sure that you're in your cube being nice and quiet pecking away on your keyboard you know and you're thinking you know I'm doing all the damn work here I was you know I've been a programmer systems administrator you know and uh, you, you, you think that you deserve some respect and you know they never ever ask for your opinion on anything you know they, they think they know it all and, and in fact they know nothing you know most of the time uh, so anyway that's what it so what would happen and this is you know it's okay to be human sometimes I would just get depressed and I would wake up and I just couldn't I just couldn't go to work and you know you, that back then sometimes they were combining the sick leave with the vacation time and you only get 10 days a year and uh, so it was it was you know brutal trying to get in there day in and day out because you only get 10 days a year of vacation and you know, maybe five days of sick leave and uh, you know I I guess the worst ever was one time I just snapped and uh, for five days I could I, I couldn't answer the phone hell I, I couldn't even hardly get out of my chair I was just comatose and I don't know what happened I just snapped mentally and uh, and, and the corporations they don't allow for that they don't allow a mental snap and uh, so, you know, I'm just saying it's okay if that happens to you, you know, you, you'll, hopefully you'll turn things around and get back on your feet. Now, I didn't have to seek medical attention. I guess after about five or six or I don't remember how many days of that, I just, I got, you know, I, I, I got things going. And that was before I was a hiker. You know, hiking has, has helped me mentally more than anything else. So but let's, uh, let's get into... Um, so some some gross stories here, you know, and and, uh, and cute, you know. At the same time, I I'm out and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell a story on him. He maybe someday he'll watch the, his videos. But uh, my grandson, we're out hiking the uh, the Santos Trail, and uh, like I said, I always have that backpack with the toilet paper in it. And uh, he now he's young, you know, and he had an emergency. <laughs> so, so I said, well, here's some toilet paper. Go on over there in the woods and. And do your thing and uh, hey I think we're coming to the end maybe of this trail so but anyway so I uh, but the funny part about the story was he's over there you know doing his thing but he didn't get far enough back on the trail so that people couldn't see him so, <laughs> so, and most of the time you didn't see hardly anybody on the trail uh, it wasn't like here you won't see anybody period you know but the Santos there are people that that do it and uh, so he, uh, people were coming down there looking over at him, you know, and he's, he's taking a dumper right there on, on the side. So, uh, well, here we go. I think we have come to the end of the line on this trail. I'll go a ways further. Uh, so, uh, so that's kind of a gross story, but at the same time it's pretty funny because I'm sitting there looking at these people wondering what in the world must they be thinking. Um, my extremely gross story was uh, I was going for a hike and I hadn't gotten to the trail and uh, yeah no way I can hike through this this even with the hikers this would be uh, this would be crazy um, yeah let's, uh, let's get a little further here 
Okay. Yep, time to turn around. So that's the that's the right trail here at the uh, Sunny Hill Restoration Area. You've seen it all now. Um, but uh, anyway, I uh, it just came on me like a tidal wave. I don't know what the hell happened. And uh, so I was I was you know running to to the woods as fast. Well, first I had to get the toilet paper out of the car. I had already started the hike. I had to get back to the car to get the toilet because I at that particular day because I was stupid. I didn't have my toilet paper with me. And uh, when I got back to the car, I mean, it was just coming on. And I grabbed that toilet paper and I started running. And uh, it just, I didn't make it. I did not make it. I mean, I, it just unleashed into my drawers and all over my legs and my shoes. And I mean, it, it just was a huge amount of waste. <laughs> it, was, it was so awful. And uh, so I, I, you know, because I did get it and finally I got into the woods and I just took the shorts off and the underwear and uh, and just used that toilet paper to clean myself up as best I could and it stunk. Oh my God, did it stink. And uh, so I, I, uh, all, and luckily I, that's another thing, I always keep towels in my car. And uh, so when I got back to the car, and you know, of course I didn't get all of the, the stuff off of me. And uh, so luckily I had that towel to sit on so I wouldn't get it all over my car seat. And, uh, and then I had to roll, <laughs> roll down the windows <laughs> to get, drive that car home. And I immediately threw that towel. That I, now the shorts and the underwear, luckily there was a dumpster right there and the toilet paper. I just put them all in the bag. Look, that's another thing. I always keep some disposable bags in the car and I had to, I just bagged it all up and just threw it right in that dumpster man I no way I was gonna even try to wash those it was just that disgusting so there you go it's okay to be human folks if these things happen that's uh, you know I if you recall back to my cancer stories um, you know because of my bowels have been stitched back together and they have perforated and everything else you know uh, the uh, you know I gave you the story about the guy in the bed who never got up and I didn't know what was going on and it turns out he was peeing all over the bed and pooping all over the bed and the nurses had to come in and clean it all up and I'm laying right beside him just cringing and everything you know there's uh, there's all kinds of needle stories where you know they tried to get the those needles into my veins and you know my the, the military story I gave you where the the young uh, trainee came in and he couldn't get the vein hurt like hell so I found a, this a pair of sunglasses. I saw these right here. Put them in my pocket. I'll either throw them away or give them to my wife because they're uh, Elton John could wear them for sure. <laughs> Which, uh, by the way, he performed at Rush Limbaugh's wedding. I thought that was pretty cool. So, uh, but anyway, so these, yeah, I'll try to think up some other gross stories to add to this video as I hike back. Uh, you know, it's too bad. I wanted to keep going for about another hour. But, uh, so this is a, it's okay to be human. Uh, you know, and then of course, maybe I'll just add a, a human and stupid. Because <laughs> I'll try to think up some stories about when I've been stupid. Because uh, I continue to be stupid. I rode out here without a helmet. So that's just stupid. But who cares? Uh, but, all right, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let me think up some other stories.